Are you looking to relocate to Virginia Beach, Virginia? Perhaps you're PCSing here and you need to find a new place to call home. Well, if so, stay tuned because I've got four neighborhoods to take you through today, all right down close within about a 15 minute drive to Oceana and Dam Neck. And it starts right now. Welcome back to another episode of Real Estate in the 757. My name is Jennifer Stimson. I'm a local realtor here with Remax Alliance and the Dahl team. And today I've got several neighborhoods to take you through that are all really close to Oceana and Dam Neck. I know many of you are moving out this way because of working with the military and needing to be at the bases. So today we're just highlighting some that are a little closer to the bases um, just to be extra convenient for you. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please take a second and do so. Each and every week I roll out a new video and you know, it's all about highlighting places to live, what it's like to live in our area, pros and cons of the various cities in Hampton Roads, as well as cost of living. So it's all here to help you as you prepare to move this way. All right, so I have four neighborhoods and the first three all feed into the same schools. You've got Christopher Farms Elementary, Princess Anne Middle School, and then Pelham High School. And we're gonna start out in Holland Woods. There are three and four bedroom homes throughout here with most of them have about two baths. They were built in the early 90s. And while some of these might look a little small, um, they about 1500 square feet to averaging around 2,000 square feet. But some of the ranch homes back through here, even they look a little tiny on the outside, they're what we call wow factor homes because when you go inside, the living rooms have vaulted ceilings and they just feel way bigger on the inside. So it's kind of like a present surprise. And you know, my team and I, we kind of call them the wow houses. These really do make great starter homes. They run anywhere from about 270,000 to upwards of about 370, and um, but they make great starter homes. There's a really neat little playground kind of tucked around towards the back of this neighborhood as well. So if you have any little ones running around, it's a great place to go and just you know run off some steam. All right, so our next neighborhood is Christopher Farms, and this is kind of one of my favorite neighborhoods out here. There's just something about it as you drive in and you kind of see the, the lake there in the middle and it's just quaint and pretty. Um, it makes me want to go for a walk through this neighborhood. So it's kind of one of my little favorite ones. Isn't this neighborhood so pretty? There are going to be four and five bedrooms throughout here with about two and a half to three baths. They were built in the early 90s um, and these homes are a little larger. You're gonna find homes through here with about 2,400 to 3,300 square feet. And they do sell for a little bit higher as well. You're gonna um, find homes in here from anywhere from about 420,000 upwards of 500,000. Um, but many of these on the inside um, have a two-story family room. So it's very big and open on the inside. And you know, you might find jetted tubs in the master bedrooms. You can probably find some crown molding and walk-in closets for sure through here with these gorgeous homes back in this neighborhood. You'll also want to be aware that there is an HOA back in here and that fee is roughly $40 a month. Um, and there are also some great paths through here. You can kind of go and sit and enjoy the pretty views at you know, the little lakes throughout here. All right, so next up is Holland Pines. And this neighborhood, um, our homes are getting a little larger and the lot size, as you can see, also is a little larger. You will find three, four, and five bedrooms back in here. Most of these have at least two and a half baths. Some have three full baths. And the average square footage is gonna be between 2,000 to almost 3,000 square feet. They were built in the early 90s as well. And you know, this just is another great neighborhood. I can see families really loving a neighborhood like this, going for walks um, in the afternoons, taking kids for bike rides, walking your pets. It just, it kind of has it all. Now these are going to sell in the high 300s. 
to the low fours, probably around 430. Some might creep up a little bit above that, just depending on the upgrades that maybe has already been done. All right, and last up is another favorite of mine. That's called Buckner Farms. And back in here, it's set up a little differently. So Buckner Farms is a huge community, um, but then they have um, kind of little villages and each village is its own little area. And so you turn off into a specific village and then that's kind of runs on a loop and all the homes are off of that loop with some little cul-de-sacs and things off of the loop all the way around. And so there's, there's several villages through um, this whole entire community of Buckner Farms. All right, so the homes back in here were built between the late 90s through like 2002, 2003. They average around 2,100 square feet, upwards of almost 27, 2,800 square feet. You'll find three, four, and five bedrooms back in here. And most of them have two and a half baths. And these average between around 350,000 to the low 400,000s. Um, but you can find some in the low 300s. Might not be a lot of them back through here, but there are a few tucked here or there, um, a little bit under the 350 mark. These do feed into Lanstown Elementary, Lanstown Middle, and Lanstown High School. So a few different schools than the other three we already discussed. And then another thing I love about this neighborhood is just off to the side um, of some of the villages is this gorgeous um, park and playground area for your families to come and enjoy. So all four of these neighborhoods are within about a 10 to 15 minute drive from Oceana and Dam Neck, which make them incredibly um, convenient for those of you that are in the military. And there's also Lanstown Commons, which is literally just a hop, skip, and a jump away from these neighborhoods, maybe about five minutes, um, where you can find any of the stores that you might need in one convenient spot. All right, so there you have it. Four more neighborhoods that I had not yet highlighted, all within close range to the bases. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please take a minute and click that button. And if you've enjoyed this video, would you hit the like button for me? It really helps things out on my end um, to get my videos in front of and seen to more people. And if you are moving this way, reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text or an email. I would love to begin the process of helping you to find a new place to call home. I know that's a huge process. It can be very overwhelming and I've got your back. So reach out, let me, let me help you. I would love nothing more than to help you find a new place to call home. And hey, if you're watching this right before Christmas, I hope you have a wonderful and Merry Christmas. Until next time. Oh,